Welcome back to Just For Kicks. I'm Chris Marlowe. Soccer is her life. She plays the game all the time. She married a soccer coach. She even had her prenuptials on a soccer field. Who is she? Just America's brightest young female soccer star. Kevin Cusick reports. I caught up to Michelle Akerstall in Nashua, New Hampshire, here at the Clarion Hotel, where she's giving a clinic on uh, soccer to these girls. And uh, Michelle. Kevin, first of all, uh, it's a soccer uh, clinic. You can't use your hands. Oh, well, that's right. You have to kind of deflect the ball yeah, some way, right? catch it on your foot. Uh, well, I'm not that far yet. <laughs> anyway, you do the soccer clinic. I'll introduce you. Here's Michelle Akerstall. Thanks. At 5 foot 10 and 150 pounds of athletic talent, her physical presence is intimidating enough. But add to that her incredible scoring ability and tremendous desire to win, and opposing teams should be concerned about Michelle Akerstall. From when I was very young, I've been very, very competitive, and I used to cry when I lost, and um, almost to the point where I was too competitive and I didn't have fun when I played, and my parents really had to work on that with me. Her parents' work paid off, and so did hers. She had loads of fun this past summer when she led the U.S. women's national team, scoring 14 goals in 11 games. And the number of goals she scored in international play this summer was tremendous. I mean, she scored over a goal a game, and her impact in every game was significant. And so now uh, I have to consider her one of the best players in the world. Her impact this summer uh, has really uh, uh, put the rest of the world on edge, because now I think they're afraid of her a bit. And I don't blame them. I mean, uh, I would be too. She became the first recipient to win the Herman Award for women, given to the top collegiate soccer player in the country. Last summer at the U.S. Olympic Festival, she scored five goals, adding another goal to her festival collection. She was a four-time collegiate All-American at the University of Central Florida and was voted the 1990 Female Athlete of the Year by the U.S. Soccer Federation. Those are just a few of the many awards she's earned. What I do now is what's important, and I can't live on, you know, what happened. You know, this USSF Player of the Year award is nice, but I can't live on that. That's not going to carry me through the next game or the next training session or with these girls. They don't care. They want to see what I'm doing now. What she's doing now is giving out awards at the New Hampshire Soccer Association and preparing for the first ever Women's World Cup in China this November. After a trip to Sweden last year, she became mentally sharper and more willing to take on the role of team leader. She's not such a verbal leader. She's a leader by example. Um, she gets in there and she's hardworking. She's dedicated. She's disciplined. She's been around for years, and that's a tribute to her work ethic. She plays the game like... I wish I could play the game with her heart, and um, it's just a, it's incredible to see a person like that out there playing for you. Our whole lives were soccer, pretty much. If you, if you live with Michelle, you have to eat, breathe, sleep soccer. Well, her new husband, Robbie Stahl, does live for soccer. He played professionally in Ireland and for Cleveland in the NASL. Michelle wrote a letter to him hoping to work at Post to Post, a youth soccer education program where Robbie is director of operations. What she found was a bit more than a job. We just clicked and uh, right away, and, and we stayed in touch. And seven weeks later, I asked her to marry me. I was really surprised and very happy, and she said yes. I was like, well, uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, well, don't you know what I'm asking you? <laughs> and all these things were running through my mind. And I, of course, I said yes. I went with my heart instead of thinking uh, with my mind. And I was so afraid of, I had this image of June Cleaver being the wife, June Cleaver, and I'm not like June Cleaver. <laughs> they even had a prenuptial soccer game and gave out these t-shirts. And the first year has been nothing like the Cleaver house. If people could see us at home, they wouldn't believe either of us because they know us as professional people and her as a world-class athlete, but it's a little bit like living with the Three Stooges. We're, uh, it's like Mutt and Jeff. We're always at each other. We wrestle, we tickle, and, and uh, nobody would believe us. We're like little kids. Michelle and Robbie love teaching the game of soccer and passing on their skills to the future stars. Okay. Now, this is a very difficult skill. See these girls, you know, they look at how, and I don't understand it, but um, in, in the sense that it's me they're looking at, but I understand it in the sense that I can do something well and they want to do that. That's what it, it inspires me, that all this work I've done is paying off to hopefully the love off of someone else. These girls could talk to Michelle all day long and never run out of questions. By the look in their eyes and the smile on their face, her work has paid off, more so than she may ever know. On the road in Nashua, New Hampshire, this is Kevin Cusick. Soccer Heroes has been brought to you by Soccer America, the news weekly of U.S. soccer fans.